You know, it's about to be my, my favorite time, so you know I got to sing my song. <clears throat> Christmas time is here. Happiness and cheers. Fun for all that you can call the favorite time of year. My favorite time of the year. I'm just so excited. I don't care if they don't like me. I came here to stunt. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if they don't. What's good, everybody? If you're first time viewing my content and with this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Shout out to everybody who be supporting my content on on the tube, on Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. You are highly appreciated. All right, don't forget to like the video as you come up in here. All right. Help a brother out. <laughs> but today we're going to be discussing a video. Came across this on TikTok by um, my girl, Miss His Daughter Seven. And she did a uh, duet to this. And so we're going to be watching the video that she duet um, with Pearly. She basically was interviewing this woman. And this woman was talking about like she just won't settle down or compromise with a man. You know, and Miss Pearly here is trying to negotiate with her and tell her, like, you know, if you really want to be in a relationship, you want to be with a man. There are some things that you just have to compromise with. Like, it's not even about a man telling you what to do. It's about negotiation. It's about him protecting you and looking out for you and you trusting him. But I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get into the video. Let's get into it to be with a guy that you have to listen to you don't want to be with a guy whose judgment you trust not me, if, if it's it, to tell me what i kind of kind of wear, wear but my mom tells me that from a guy's point of view that's really hard for them to work with the guy hears that he just hears that you won't cooperate with him that you're hard to work with you're stubborn most guys want a girl that will submit to him and trust his judgment so so his judgment and he says mm. hey you know what i don't want there to be problems could you change your top like your boots are out or whatever it is and you say well but da -da 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 -da, like that's a headache to him no. To me, who cares? Like, it, it, why does it? It's not gonna affect my life that much. What I wear when I go out of the house, and I want to yeah, be—I want to be with a guy whose judgment that I trust, right? Mm -hmm. So shout out to Miss Pearly here. You know, I've seen some of her content on social media, and you know, she she's a jogger knocker. All right, she listen. She be doing her thing. You know, people have things that they have to say about her and stuff like that. Personally, as a content creator, she has she has done her thing. All right, she has blown up. She has taken over. She has done great with advertising. I remember I used to see her her uh, TikToks and her her shorts back to back on YouTube. So she she been doing the thing. I can't knock the hustle. All right, I can only hate the game. All right, so I can't hate her for putting in the actual work for her getting to where she is now. So. Shout out to Miss Pearly. Now, considering the basis of what she is saying and what she's explaining to this woman, no figure she's a black woman. The key to happiness is to eliminate all black women from your life. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I've heard this from many different women, right? And it, it don't even just go to the basis of like what you wear. It's about how you appear. You know, I've heard about certain stuff where like women have broken up with men. Or, or they just no longer appreciate or respect men because the man told them, like, you can't come to my grandmother's house like that. Or, you know, can you be in a, a more natural apparel when you meet my parents? There are some women that won't even go out of their way to do that. You know, some women, they won't even change how they talk when it comes to meeting the family and so on and so forth. You know, so if a man wants you to appear in a certain manner whatever the occasion may be he wants to know that you have the respect that you have the the maturity as a woman to do so you're not going to go to to work any type of way you're not going to go to if you go to church you're not going to go to church any type of way you're not going to talk any type of way at church at mama house at grandmama house at work at the meeting 
So why can't you have the same amount of respect as, as you do that you do at your occupation that you do at at work that you do at at school class church whatever the case is if you can have that same amount of respect there you should have the same amount of respect for your man and for you to have the priority of placing your boss and work and family all this other type of stuff if you can put these things in as priorities why can't you make your man a priority as well but you want to know what the problem is some of these women got a big head i'm talking about their ego their ego big jimmy neutron head big okay we're talking like hey arnold football head. that's how big their head is when it concerns their ego you know some of these women are so entitled to what they feel you know that they're gonna go to work or they're gonna go to to the certain special event his special event any type of way She's going to show up at the family cookout any type of way. She's going to wear the, the Brazilian, Malaysian, Peruvian, Brazilian monkey fur all the way down to her buttocks. And we're not even just talking about like some regular Brazilian, Malaysian. We're talking about the light, the light and bright markers. <laughs> talking about she, she walking up there looking like a highlighter. Looking like a key lime cake. Just looking straight up ridiculous. God forbid she got the rainbow going on. Lord have mercy. I've seen it. <laughs> Some of these women ain't got no type of respect for themselves. Out there looking like a hoochie mama. Not everybody talking about him. And you. But you, you don't even have the respect enough to even dress or to appear in a certain type of way because you represent him any woman that a man picks represents him and fellas i need you to keep that in mind as well because when it concerns a woman that isn't even able to dress and to look in a way that represents you well if she can't even do that you might need to go back to the drawing board. And while you go there, kick it to the curve. And it's like what, what Miss Pearlie said, like, it doesn't take much for you to just change your attire. You know, like, it's not the end of the world. It's not oppression. It's, it's not misogyny. It's, it's, it's <laughs> I mean, like, if you wear a crop top, and he's like, the crop top might not be appropriate for this occasion. Not saying it don't look good, but like if you could just change your top. I mean, what is changing a top going to do to you? Y y yeah, I know you love that that one wig, but but can you can you can you rock your natural hair for today? Like can you, you know, you could even do the little ponytails if you want. Like just, but can we just keep it natural for tonight? Is it going to hurt you to go natural? Or, or or is it protection night? You got to protect your hair from whatever it is out there. The magical beings and dragons going to be all up in your hair or something. It's beyond me. But that's all I got to say concerning the whole matters at hand. Let me know how you feel about this personally in the comment section below concerning the whole matters of this conversation. Am I in the right or am I in the wrong? Is Miss Pearly right? You know, or you you just going to be all bad by yourself and that man just going to take you for who you are because you are black woman, baby. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> but that's all I got to say. Before you go, though, Check out these other videos. We out. Long as I got God, black women and the squad, I got all.